This is part 89 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the intersect operator in SQL Server and the difference between intersect and inner join. So what does this intersect operator do? This operator retrieves the common records from both the left and the right query of the intersect operator. Let's understand this with an example. Here, we've got two tables, table A and table B. Notice both the tables have got the same number and type of columns. If you look at the data, employee records 2 and 3 are present in both the tables. Now, what we want to do is write a query that's going to retrieve the common rows that are present in both the tables. We can achieve this two ways. We can achieve this either by using the intersect operator or by using inner join. Let's look at both the ways. Let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So this query is going to retrieve all the rows from table A. Now I'm going to use intersect operator and retrieve ID, name, gender from table B. So if we execute this intersect query, we should get all the rows that are common between both the tables. Now if you look at these two tables, the common rows are with IDs 2 and 3. So we get those in our result set right here. Now let's see how to achieve exactly the same thing using inner join. So what we want to do now is select ID name gender from table A, inner join with table B, and we have to specify the join condition. And the common column between both the tables is ID. So on table A dot ID equals table B dot ID. Now, if we execute this inner join query, we are going to get an error. That's because in both the tables, we have got the same column names, ID name, gender. So that's why we get this ambiguous column name error three times. So we will have to specify the name of the table from which we want these columns. We can either use table A or table B, but I'm going to use table A for this example. So table A.ID, table A.name, and table A.gender. Now let's execute these two queries together. Notice we get exactly the same result. Now the obvious question that comes to our mind at this point is then what's the difference between inner join and intersect operators? We'll discuss those differences in just a bit, but before that, let's discuss a few more points about this intersect operator. This operator is introduced in SQL Server 2005. Just like the except operator, for intersect operator to work, the number and the order of the columns must be the same in both the queries. The data types must be same or at least compatible. All right, now let's look at the differences between intersect and inner join. Intersect filters duplicates and returns only distinct rows that are common between the left and right query, whereas inner join does not filter the duplicates. Let's understand this difference with an example. Now, I'm going to insert this record into table A. So the record is going to have an ID value of two, name, Mary, gender, female. Now, if we retrieve data from table A, we should have Mary's record repeated twice. Notice ID, name, and gender are the same for record two and record four, okay? So now let's execute our intersect query. Notice that we only get the unique rows. The duplicates are filtered out. We only get once this Mary record. But if you look at inner join, we are going to get Mary record twice. So that's one of the primary differences between intersect and inner join. To make this inner join behave like the intersect operator, use the distinct operator. So now notice if we use distinct operator, this is only going to retrieve the distinct rows. So in this case, the inner join is going to behave like intersect operator. Notice we get exactly the same result now. The other difference is inner join treats two nulls as two different values. So if you're joining two tables based on a nullable column, and if both tables have nulls in that joining column, then inner join will not include those rows in the result set. Whereas intersect treats two nulls as a same value and it returns all matching rows. Let's look at this in action. So to understand this difference, I'm going to insert a row with null value for ID column into table A and similarly into table B as well. So let's execute these two insert queries and let's select the data that we have at the moment in table A and table B. So there is one null column you know, for one of the rows. And if you look at name and gender columns, the data is same. 
okay now let's see what's going to happen when we execute the intersect query so when we execute the intersect query notice that we get that null row okay whereas when we execute the inner join we will not get that null row okay so that's another difference between inner join and intersect queries thank you for listening and have a great day